Blessed good morning again to my viewers, subscribers. This is JN News Channel, and we are here to bring you factual news. Desperate search for a 16 year old girl reported missing in Clarendon, and Ananda Alert has been activated for the 16 year old Abigail Binis of Maku Road, Mahu, Clarendon, who has been missing since Thursday, September the 30. She is of brown complexion, medium built, and about 152 centimeters, 5 feet tall. Reports from the Fort Park Police are that about 3 p.m., Abigail was last seen at home wearing a burgundy dress and a pair of black shoes. She is not being heard from since anyone knowing the whereabouts of Abigail is being asked to contact the Fort Park Police Station at 876-987-0429 Police 119 Emergency Number or the nearest police station to you let us find her please Dunkirk residents angry at alleged police shooting of community member Residents of Dunkirk in downtown Kingston are upset that a member of the community was allegedly shot and injured by the police on Sunday, claiming that the man was not coming any offence and he was shot in the back. According to the residents, the man who was shot was a middle aged and the incident was a continuation of an abuse that they face while police are patrolling the streets in the area one resident who said he was an eyewitness to the shooting on sunday said the police approached the man approached three men who were going about their regular business he said two of them were traveling together including the one on the bicycle a third man was walking in front of the pair the eyewitness said the police approached and ordered the men to stop and the two were traveling together complied he said the third man who was in front was seemingly not aware that the police were addressing him the resident said the third man continued on his journey and was about to turn a corner when the police again ordered him to stop he said the man was still not seemingly aware that he was the one being spoken to and when he failed to comply with the order, a police officer pulled his firearm and shot the man in the back. The man is a businessman. The man is a mechanic. His wife is about to migrate. Him supposed to take care of the kids. Him say, stop your point at somebody with them back. Turn and fire shot in their direction before them stop is that just the resident asks according to the resident he become the target of the policeman attention after the shooting he said the policeman then point his gun at him then i say i saw your deal with the thing him just jump in the vehicle and drive off that is not just that is not how you deal with people you can't tell somebody to stop and then back turn and then you fire shot in the person direction to tell them stop. With the police relationship that is not how they will get respect. They can't deal with things like that. Is that how you deal with some something the resident further asks. A woman claimed that they have to be afraid of the police who are traveling are treating the resident unfairly while they search for a girl she said the police are targeting the wrong set of people as they are patrolling the community at the wrong time they will come here with force 
they will come like it's they are the bad man. We afraid of both of them and the bad man. We can't walk in peace when and no lock up time. Curfew, you see them drive round. Me not say nothing illegal not going on in the community. But why when you hear gunshots or anything early morning, you come out, you never see a police yet. When the police come out, gunman na outside, gunman at them yard when the police see. The people outside them want to terrorize the innocent people. No man we have gone na outside, she say. Don Kurt is one of several communities in downtown Kingston area that are plunged by gun violence, which has claimed many lives since the start of the year. And Lucas say, Watch, YouTuber celebrates say gun saga in Jamaica was an honest mistake. Popular American YouTuber Jada Cheese has described as an honest mistake her decision to take a gun into the island of Jamaica without following pro proper protocols. The 24-year-old Chiefs, who is also known as Jada Wanda, and her campaign, George Wright, were each fined 500000 for illegal possession of firearm and 300000 for illegal possession of ammunition. Police are said two were both held with firearms that were brought into the country illegally. Reports are that the YouTuber who is from Atlanta, Georgia, reportedly came to the island on the private jet to celebrate her 24th birthday when she was arrested. According to a local authority, the fine have since been paid and the two have left the island. Lawyer Michael Emmons, who represents Chiefs, said the social media influencer has made it clear that she intends to return to the island soon. She admitted that, that what she said was wrong and that it was an honest mistake and she intended to do the right thing once it was pointed out that it was wrong. Emmons told the news. The lawyer also disclosed that the conviction was not recorded against the YouTuber. Reports are that on September the 24th at about 1 p.m. police personnel walk working at the Sangsters International Airport, Montego Bay, St. James, were alerted by their Jamaican custom counterparts who reportedly discovered Aninolus in Chiefs and Wright's luggage. A police team responded and during a search of the luggage, a blacksmith and Wesson 9mm pistol with 8 9 cartridges and a black, grey and pink SCCY 9mm pistol with 7 with seven nine mm cartridges were found. Chiefs and Wright admitted to owning the firearms. However, checks reveal that upon their arrival on the island, they had failed to disclose possession of the firearms and ammunition. Some of you as I miss up that is basically what we have for today's newscast. Please like, continue and share and subscribe. Right.